Hi, I'm Reed Pettengill. I'm here at Durastil in Kansas City, Missouri. If you've clicked on my website on a commercial distiller, this is what we sell is a, a 4280. This is the 80 gallon tank. 42 is the distiller here. That makes 42 gallons a day. So we need a, a way larger tank for this distiller. Uh, I'll explain the distiller in a minute, but when you get your tank mounted up on the, the mount and you get all these brackets put on uh, in the instructions it shows you exactly how to do that. In your instruction sheet it tells you how to put these rails on. It's just a bolt that goes down through and you reach in and, and put a nut on. Okay, we're going to put the float inside this tank. The float turns the distiller on and off. Uh, you put the float down in the tank with the stem up. You reach over and you find the hole in the tank with the, the rod. You stick your rod clear up. Okay, with the rod sticking up, you put the spring on the end of that rod and then you pry against this little tail and this eyelet that's on the spring and it spreads the spring apart so it'll go on the rod. And I'll show you that how that works. You've got to undo the spring is actually is what it does. It turns it backwards. And then it'll slide down on the rod. It's really kind of hard to do with one hand, but it goes on just fine after you get it sprung out there. Okay. After you get your spring on your float, it's time to mount your switch box. The first thing you do to mount your switch box is you slide this uh, switch rod through the spring. And then here's your switch on the inside. You put a, a bolt down through that hole and that hole goes in the tank right there. And you just slide it down into the hole right there and you take a nut and reach in the tank and tighten that, that box into place. And you want this fairly tight. And there's another hole over here. So we put another bolt in. And we do the same again with another nut. We reach in there and tighten that up. There. Now we have the float assembly in place and when the tank is full, it shuts off. We can even adjust the level if you want the water to come clear to the very top. We just open the spring up and, and push it down on the rod further. It's kind of uh, a preference uh, how full you want to run your distiller and your tank. I like to keep it as full as possible because it, the less air you have in the tank, the better off you are. You finish by putting the cover on the electrical box. Okay, the, the last thing you do here is slide the top on and you put a, a Phillips head screw right in there. This slot needs to be here showing so that the switch will go up and down and be free and not touch so it will shut off and on and that's how it operates when you're finished this cord will plug into the back of your 42c and that will operate the distiller to turn it on and off you also need to put your bolt up through your lid here and tighten it up and it's ready for a lid. Uh, on an 80 gallon tank, you have an option of just using a lid <coughs> or also a UV light. A UV light uh, will keep anything from growing inside the tank like bacterium, virus, parasites. And so if you use a UV light, we we put a stainless steel float on the inside so the plastic doesn't deteriorate on that float. 
and there's there's a finished tank ready for a distiller on top and uh, we'll show you how to put that distiller on in a minute okay this is a 42c the it's been unpackaged out of the box actually we're at the durasteel factory today and and this distiller is just barely made it just came off the assembly line this how is how it looks when you get it out of the box okay the first thing you do is take the wing nuts off the lid here you loosen one side and take one side off then the lid lifts up and you can see that there's a piece of cardboard in here you need to take out you just Take that off the, the nut right there. That, this cardboard is for shipping. That little notch there holds the float from bouncing around during shipping and getting it banged up. And then there's also a uh, cardboard pillow in there that protects the float during shipping. So you take those two things out and you put your lid back on and you tighten the nuts the wing nuts back up and you're ready to set your distiller up on up on top here's a close-up of your distiller it's a 42c uh, it's ready to be set up on top of the tank uh, you need to get some help with this distiller it's kind of heavy this is not a, a play toy distiller this is a commercial distiller it makes 42 gallons a day I like to put the cord over the top like that before I set it up on top. Brandon's going to help me set it up here. And it fits right in the, right in the rails on top of that disti distiller. Now that's how it sets. You, you put your cord down. Okay, you'll need an electrician to uh, match up the receptacle you'll need for this plug. And it's a 240 or 208. And you just plug it into the wall. It's a, a lot bigger plug than a regular 110. Also, this control wire right here is for your float switch. It controls the uh, turning on and off of your distiller when your tank is full. You just plug this plug into the back of your distiller. This is what hooks to the float on the tank. And the float runs that uh, distiller up and down, turns it on and off. Uh, it's a 24 volt system. There's a, a transformer in your distiller that runs that. There you go. That's how simple it is to hook it up. You'll notice on this 80 gallon tank, there's a, a nipple here on the bottom and there's one here on the top. And you can put a vinyl sight glass on this tank on the exterior so you'll know how full your tank is here. And that's a, something you can do on your own. And it, it's a handy thing to have. Now on a 4280, you'll need some kind of pumping system to get the water out of the tank. Uh, this is what we have. It's a 3.3 gallon per minute pumping system. It has an accumulator here and a filter. The way you hook this pumping system in is you, you hook to the bottom of the tank with a, a nipple and this line. And the other end goes into the into the pump here, and then you just plug your pump in. It, the other end of the line comes out of this filter, and it goes wherever you're going to use your water to a sink or a valve of some kind, whatever your application is for this commercial distiller. <laughs> 